Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to handle web elements, text box and button in Selenium. Let us understand with an example. I navigate to a particular website and I select dynamic controls here. You see a text box here, right? But if you observe, this text box is disabled, meaning you can't actually input something into this text box. A text box is meant for uh, providing some input into it, right? But if you observe, this text box is disabled. So we can't enter any text into this text box. Let me click on this enable button. So once I click on this enable button, it takes some time and see it is enabled now. So we can provide input now. So you can provide any input of our choice now. So in order for a text box uh, to be providing the input, so it has to be enabled first, right? So if it is disabled, we can't actually provide any input into the text box. And this is what we are going to automate and see now. So let me copy the code of, you know, setting the Chrome binary and creating the web driver instance here. So this is what uh, the code is. I have set the Chrome binary here. And in the second line, we created the web driver instance and instantiated with with chrome driver right so just import this web driver from selenium package and chrome driver also from selenium.chrome package right and then once the chrome browser is launched we are maximizing the browser window all right then what we'll do we'll navigate to the particular url which we wanted to automate Let's go back. This is the URL. And what do we wanted to do? We wanted to find the element or uh, locate this element, right? This text box. Let me refresh this page. So once we are navigated to this URL, so the page looks like this. Inspect this text box. And we see input type as text here clearly. Okay, let's take help of selector sub here and let's take the relate to X path. Find element. Okay, we have, there is double D here for driver. All right, find element by dot X path. This is the X path. And let's capture this element into a web element object. This is a text box, right? So let's name that as some text box. Import this web element also from the Selenium package. Now we actually located the text box on the web page. Fine. Now what we wanted to do, we wanted to see what are all the available methods for this text box. And let's see that text box dot so if you see is displayed is enabled is selected right so is displayed says that if the element is actually present on the web page not only present it has to be displayed on the ua on the page web page right so it can be present on the dom but uh, it can be hidden too but this is not the case so is displayed actually is a boolean value which returns true if the element is present on the web page and should also be displayed right so it should be visible only then it returns true or else is displayed method returns false so in our case it should return true right so let's actually verify that i'll just say text box is displayed or you can just say is text box displayed And then the next method for text box is if it is enabled or not, right? So text box dot is enabled. As we can enter some input into the text box only if it is enabled, right? So if it is enabled, that is what we are going to check. As we know, once we navigate to the website, it was disabled, right? 
is text box enabled so we know this has to return false all right first let's run the code till here you can see it navigated to the url all right now let's go back and you can see each text box displayed is true we are able to view that on the web page so it is true is text box enabled it is false because it is disabled it is not enabled it is disabled right that's the reason it is saying false fine now what we wanted to do we wanted to click on the button to make it enable so let's do that why dot okay let's actually locate the button right so i'll inspect this button and again take the help of selector sub will take relate to x path again this is a button right so let's capture this into a web element object and i am going to use this object to click so this is a button i am going to click on that button and once i click i will actually verify this again is text box enabled once we click on the button it has to be enabled right so we will check that is enabled but if you observe let me go back if you click on this enable button it is actually taking some time see it's loading waiting for it and it's loading and after some time we get some message here and only then this text box is getting enabled right so this is what we wanted to automate now so how do we do that once we click on this button we wanted to wait for some time and we don't know how much time it is right so what we do is uh, we will actually try it with uh, implicit wait right so we'll have some implicit wait written here times out dot implicitly wait we'll wait for some 10 seconds this will be the implicit weight and this will be applicable for all the elements uh, across the session right but if you observe we wanted some specific thing here like uh, if i click on this enable button we wanted to wait till we get this either this text box enabled or this uh, message has to be appeared only then we can uh, see this text box as enabled right so what do we do now we'll just such for, wait for this message to be displayed on this web page once this is displayed then we can confirm and uh, let's see the status of this text box if it is enabled or not so that is what we are going to do now and for that i am going to write a explicit wait so once i click on the button what we are going to do is i am going to create a web driver wait object here it which takes two parameters web driver object and the maximum timeout let's take explicit wait also as 10 10 seconds right so import this web driver wait from the selenium package wait dot we use until function until method and then inside it we should actually have some condition right and the condition for uh, ex uh, explicit uh, wait right so we have to use the expected conditions that's the parameter it uh, the until method takes here expected conditions dot what we'll take do is text to be present in element we'll take this text to be present in element what's the element so let's see that let's inspect this element what's the text there is some text here so inspect this again takes the take the help of selector sub and relate x path copy the relate x path driver dot find element by dot x path just copy that here and you know expected conditions as a method uh, has you know the value text to be present we are using the text to be present in element here the method text to be present in element so which takes two parameters you can see the syntax here if you hover on, on this method you see two parameters here the first web element the web element to be 
verified right so that we have already given the second one if you observe it is a string actual text right so actual text what is the actual text so let's copy that so this has to be displayed till that it has to wait and the maximum time out is 10 seconds so this is how we write a explicit weight and if you want more information about uh, selenium weights you can go through my previous videos all right so we have said this then once we wait and once uh, this condition becomes true or the timeout is elapsed it comes out and you know then we will actually verify the status of the text box if it is enabled or not so our expectation is it has to be enabled so let's see that now all right navigate it to the url click on enable button done so the text box is enabled now and you see each text box displayed true each text box enabled it is false before right so after click after button click let me put it like this just to differentiate uh, this is after clicking on the button right each text box enabled initially it was uh, not enabled false this is fine but if you observe each text enabled after button click it is true now see so we can enter some text into the text box now text box dot you can use send keys you can enter any string you want so these are the main methods of the text box right send keys uh, which we have seen in many examples which actually you know takes the parameter and puts the value char sequence as is into the text box but before this we have to verify that's the best practice uh, if the text box is displayed and is enabled only then you can actually enter some value into it right so it's always a best practice you actually verify if a text box is enabled only then you can actually use the send keys method so let's see that now I clicked on the enable button again and you see once it enabled so there is some text entered into that text box right and you can see that is text box enabled after button click yes it is true right so these are the main methods we need to know for the web element text box send keys is displayed is displayed gives us the boolean value true or false based on the presence of the element on the web page right is enabled gives written is also written uh, boolean value true or false and based on like if the text box is enabled or disabled so enabled is which it allows to enter the input and disabled is it doesn't allow us to enter any input into the text box so these are the three important methods of the text box web element text box in selenium right now let us see about the uh, button so just the button right let's go back again in fact actually we automated a uh, button as well right so if you observe let me refresh this page again so we had button here this is actual button this was the text box and if you observe this was the button we clicked on this but if you observe this button right enable button it is enabled at the starting so the button label is also enabled the, so if you see here when i click on this button which was enabled see it got disabled now so even though you click on that now so you won't get uh, no action will be applied on that see nothing happens on that so this is what we wanted to automate it now so let's capture this And understand what are all the methods available for a button okay at starting it will be enabled right so x path will be different what we'll do is anyway so we located the button right so yeah we already have the button here we just wanted to see the status so 
of the button is button displayed so button also has two important methods is displayed and is enabled button dot is displayed and if it is enabled or not how do we do that how do we find that is button enabled button dot is enabled this gives us if the button is enabled or not but if you observe so at the beginning right once we navigate to this url see just look uh, uh, concentrate on the button now it is enabled right once we click on this then it actually turns into the disabled state so after click we will again check the status of the button if it is enabled or not is button enabled after click so this is what we will verify now let me execute the code see clicked on it all right now let's check so this is all about the text box which we already verified right let's concentrate on the button is button displayed yes true it's displayed it's displayed on the web page we can clearly see that fine is button enabled true yes it's enabled right that's the reason we were able to click on it and is button enabled after click false see this is what we wanted to find out right once we clicked on the button it actually was disabled right so that's the status we are seeing here so this is all about the web element button right so button is a web element in selenium which you know uh, has uh, two important uh, methods is displayed and is enabled again the best practice before you click on any button right so you can actually verify if it is displayed and in and then you can check a condition if it is enabled as you can only click on the button if it is enabled right so that's how you can actually use this uh, methods available in a for a button right so in this video we actually learn how to handle the web elements text box and a button and different methods available for these web elements right so that's all for this video thanks for watching